Okay, let's talk about VCG mechanisms, also known as Vickrey uh, Clark Groves mechanism. So, uh, I'm going to start with a theorem, uh, which is also known as uh, Groves scheme. And it says the following. So, let's suppose D is an efficient decision rule. Remember, uh, if the, the decision rule is efficient if it maximizes the sum of uh, uh, utilities, uh, sum of individual utilities. Um, and for each individual i, there exists a function which maps uh, the type profiles of all the other uh, players except I okay so player uh, I is accepted and this is the type space for J from 1 to n except player I into some real number all right so as an input this XI uh, looks at the other players announcement and then spills out some real number so then uh, such that the transfer function is defined as follows uh, ti theta, so given the announcement theta, uh, transfer of agent i. If it is negative, that means agent i is going to make a payment. If it is positive, he's going to receive a payment, remember. So ti theta is the transfer of agent i, given the announcement theta, is going to be xi theta minus i. All right, uh, let's look at the other guy's announcements plug it to the xi function, whatever this real value is, and then plus uh, we are going to sum all the agent's utilities under the decision rule d and the announcement theta, except player i, all right? Uh, so then this, is, this has to be the transfer. Well, if this is the case, well, then the social choice function with this decision, with this efficient decision rule, and with this transfer function is dominant strategy incentive compatible, meaning it is a strategy proof mechanism. Okay? Um, so, well, here uh, you may ask like, why we don't have impossibility theorem like the uh, 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 Gibbert set it with. Well, f the reason is the VCG mechanism, I'm sorry, the, the Groves scheme is first of all is looking at restricted domains. Well, what, what is this restricted domain? Well, if you remember, the utility function of each agent i was like vi plus ti, right? I mean, it was a utility of uh, the decision d uh, and the type and then plus the transfer. Uh, so this is what's called uh, quasi-linear utility function. So the utility of agent I is not allowed to be anything. It is a restricted domain of preferences. So if the agent's preferences are quasi-linear, well, then we do have dominant strategy incentive compatible mechanism, all right, DT, where D is efficient and T must satisfy this. Uh, this is kind of an if and only if statement, I mean, uh, but I'm not going to provide the, uh, the other part. Uh, so the, all, the only thing you need to know for this course at least is that if the decision rule is efficient and if there exists some X function, well, if the transfer satisfies this, well, then you know what? Together with this efficient decision rule, D and T is going to be a strategy, dominant strategy, incentive compatible, social choice function. Under, uh, uh, under this preference domain. All right, so given the Gross scheme, uh, we can create a very nice uh, mechanism. So let's consider xi theta minus i as this function, all right? Minus maximum out of d, the decision, uh, such that I maximize of this sum where we basically sum the utilities of all the agents except player i. So what is this? Well, this is, remember, or all agents utility depend on his type and also the decision, the, the social decision, D. And so we do what we do here, we add up the utilities of all the agents 
except i. All right? So agent i is basically ignored out of this calculation and we calculate the utilities of all the agents. Well, then we maximize this sum by choosing the decision. So some decision is going to make some agents very happy, some agents are very unhappy. So by plugging different decisions, right, different outcomes in a sense, we see which one of those maximizes the, uh, the, the um, um, total sum of utilities. Well, we know that D is the efficient decision rule. So D should be the maximizing uh, so D should be, in fact, the argmax summation v, uh, Vj D theta J, but J from 1 to N. Here, however, this maximizing D can be different than this D. So this D and this D are not the same D, okay? Um, so sorry for the notation. Maybe I should call this D prime, and so also call this D prime. So uh, D, I'm not D prime, D uh, uh, well, yeah, let's call it D prime, all right, and not D tilde. So D prime is, 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 is I'm sorry, the, the, the D is the efficient rule, so it solves this. Uh, however, it's not going to solve this maximization. Why? Well, because uh, here in this sum, I, the agent I is ignored. All right, so therefore another decision rule may actually maximize this sum. And so here what we care is the utility, the maximum utility, maximum total utility of all the agents except player i. So this is what xi will be, let's suppose. Uh, this is what's uh, proposed by Clark and it's called pivotal mechanism. Okay, so in this case, therefore, the transfer function uh, by using the Groves scheme is going to be this guy plus this. So in fact, it becomes, the transfer function becomes this. All right, it is making difference of two things. On the first side, I have summation of the utilities of all the agents except I, again, I have the summation of utilities of all the agents except I, but the maximum of those with respect to D. And here, this summation, so this is D prime again, I'm sorry uh, for a notational mix up. Um, and so here, however, this summation is done for just this D, okay? This efficient decision rule. So therefore, this is the transfer function. Uh, so I'm going to uh, make more argument about uh, the niceness of this decision rule, uh, this transfer rule, I'm sorry, uh, but let me just erase this part first. Okay, let's continue. So D is an efficient decision rule, remember? That means D is an element of arg max D prime in D, uh, where we are maximizing I from one to N, or j from uh, 1 to n, uh, vj d prime theta j, okay? So that's the d. Uh, well, and if you remember, uh, we said uh, the uh, pivotal mechanism is going to assume that this is the uh, uh, transfer rule. All right, well, first thing first, the transfer will always be non-positive. Well, why is that? Well, because Yes, D maximizes this sum, but when we ignore player I, D will not necessarily maximize it. So it is going to be some other decision which will be maximizing this sum. So therefore, this term is going to be greater or equal to this term. I mean, they may be equal. Uh, I mean, D may also maximize this sum. But the thing is, it may be different D. And the thing is, because this is a max of this sum, this sum is gonna be greater than or maybe equal to, but it will never be less than this term. So therefore, the transfer function, the transfer is always going to be non-positive, always less than or equal to zero. Okay, so that means the pivotal mechanism is always feasible because no money should be pumped into the uh, mechanism. No outside money is uh, necessary. Well, 
Also, uh, the pivotal mechanism uh, and the transfer rule has a very nice interpretation. Well, if the agent I's presence makes no difference in terms of maximizing the choice of D, all right, I mean determining the efficient outcome or the uh, efficient decision rule has nothing to do with individual I's participation to the mechanism, well then his transfer is going to be simply zero because this term and this term will be the same, all right, because uh, agent I has no role apparently. However, otherwise, meaning uh, if he has making a difference, all right, so this term and this term are not the same, well then what does that imply? Well, that implies that the I, the agent I, is being what we call pivotal, all right? Well, this is what Clark called as pivotal, and TI represents the loss in value that is imposed on other individuals due to the change in decision, D, that results from I's presence in society. Uh, I don't know if you can uh, follow that. So here, again, TI represents the loss in value that is imposed on others. Imposed on others because we are summing all the other agents' uh, utilities uh, due to the change in decision that results from I's presence in the society. So remember, D was the efficient outcome when agent I was present. And here D prime is, I mean, some D prime is going to be maximizing this. And that is maximizing or the efficient outcome when agent I is not present. All right. And by summing up all the other agents utilities and taking this difference, what we are doing is that we're finding the loss in value that is imposed by agent I's uh, 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 being in, uh, or, or, or being part of the mechanism. Uh, his his uh, loss of value that's imposed cost to the others. All right? So in a sense, the transfer of agent I is what's called marginal social impact of agent I on other individuals uh, when agent I makes the announcement theta I. Okay? So once again, the transfer of agent I is his marginal social impact on other individuals. Well, again, th these are all interpretations. Uh, well, technically, this is what transfer is. You buy the interpretation or not, but that's sort of the gener general uh, interpretation uh, we keep using. So the transfer of agent I is his marginal social impact on other individuals when he or she makes the announcement uh, theta I. So when he calculates his utility UI, uh, by declaring theta i, given that others declare theta minus i, uh, well, it's going to be, and, and the social uh, choice function f, all right, d and t, so I, maybe I should put social choice function instead of f, I should put d and t here. Remember, we talked about the utility function, so it's going to be vi uh, d theta i theta minus i, theta i, so his own utility from this decision, uh, plus the transfer of theta, okay? So uh, once again, uh, this is how much utility he's going to drive from this decision when he, he does exist, and then uh, his social impact on other individuals, okay? Uh, so that's what the utility uh, will mean. Uh, if this is the transfer function, or at least in the pivotal mechanism, this is what the utility function would be interpreted uh, uh, in, in this uh, pivotal mechanism. All right?